I wasn't able to get to Ebb's Feet last season because it was uh, postponed. And then the other games I was, had to work and couldn't get there in midweek. Uh, having now come to Stonebridge Road for the first time, I've got to say it's, it's a much better stadium than I expected. Oh, hang on. Oh, I appear to have actually gone to Juventus against Sampdoria instead. That's, a, that's our mistake, isn't it, really, eh, Ben? Oh, well. Hang on. It's not West Beans down there. And here we are at Turin. No, actually, I think this is definitely Ebsleys, isn't it, Ben? Yeah. Let's find it. Ooh, I thought you were walking. Hello. It's not quite the same as Turin, is it? Nah. All the big dockyards over there, you know, the thumping from the Thames and the cement works and everything. So, we're actually going to win today. Don't know. No. Might do, might not. Hope so. I've only won one this year, haven't I? So. But it's our hmm? It's our turn to. Well, last home game they won, was it? It was against Rex. It was against us in April, that's right, yeah. Since a while. <laughs> that's not good. They're due, aren't they, Nike? We must when? be their lucky team. Yeah. yeah. That's encouraging, though. It would be good if we enter these matches optimistic thinking we're actually going to win a game. Yeah. That'd be smart, though. It's not going to happen, though, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Well. Nice yeah. down here, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, look, you can see the match from here. You don't have to pay to get in. Sacco's first goal for Exum and a bit of a lucky one. So I assume it crossed the line the way the Exum are celebrating behind the goal. But uh, FC's worked very hard. And I thought Exum was a bit disappointed until the last 10 minutes of the half and we suddenly played with tempo and got at them, started making chances and he got up thinking that maybe get their defence they'll, they'll crack a little bit. It's a very idiosyncratic little ground here. Up at the top there, the trains go past. I'm led to believe that FC fans shout train when they go past and count how many go through. Sounds like fun, but I haven't done that yet today. And it's, uh, yeah, it's strange that that terrace there is like a temporary stand bolted on top of a crumbly terrace, which is uh, it's just really weird around the back. There's tons of space on the back. It's hard to see how the terrace sort of works. But it's a very friendly place. I just hope we don't return their hospitality. <laughs> I like the big pylon behind the stand. It reminds me of Northwich with the big, what is it, cement works or something behind the goal. And behind the, the stand as well, there's lots of in, in, the big industrial skyscape as well. That's, uh, I, I don't mind where the ground is and what it's like if we can finish it off and get a win to be a huge win this for us today. Let's get a back-to-back -back away win and our little unbeaten run goes to four. And what would that be if we could clean it off a clean sheet as well? Three clean sheets in a row too. That'd be really something and I, I can't stop thinking you know the, the quality's not there for us at the moment but if the confidence comes any team will start to get results any team and if we start grinding results out like this then we'll be onto something without question you know the performances will naturally come I think there's a chance here as well like I said I think the way forward to Wrexham is to try and put pressure on them and try to 
more pressure on their defence and if that's the case then this is an opportunity for Exxon go about it the right way to, to maybe rectify a few of the confidence issues that they've had if the strikers get forwards and are able to actually start playing. Oh, he came away with a win in the end. Oh, filming it the next morning of two tired hours after <laughs> arriving home late last night from a, a long schlep up from Kent. But God, it's me. it wasn't a good performance. Both are poor sides, really, in all honesty. But it's another win, and you can't help thinking that if we keep grinding out wins, and maybe the performances will come afterwards. Hope so. Hope it doesn't go the other way. Oh, I must say there's um, <laughs> some memorable moments from Ebsley's. The ground's maybe like saying, not in the best state of repair. Great moment in the second half where the ball was cleared and landed on the roof and the ceiling of the, uh, the roof of the stand was covered in flaking ancient old paint when the ball bounced on it. All the snow came dropping down on our heads like snow, all the, the paint went like snow. <laughs> it was great. Um, and also when their first player got sent off, both, both sent off players gave me a bit of a treat. The first one goes storming off down the tunnel and then a huge crash of glass, he must have smashed the door in the dressing room or something. Which, uh, delighted the crowd and then the sound of them tend to um, brush up the glass afterwards <laughs> reverberating around the ground and then the second guy oh goodness me how humiliating so he went on the platform on the way home and up came the second player who got sent off and well, I assume his dad and his brother who just stood there and berated him for 10 minutes on the platform very loudly in front of everybody he never said a word not about the sending off just about how terrible he was they carried on, going on about, oh, he's on the from Barnet. Don't Barnet film your, your, your matches. Don't they show you how rubbish your movement is? They slaughtered the poor guy. Never said the word all the way through. Just totally humiliated. They got on the train. It took about 10 minutes on the platform. We were early for the train. They carried on on the train. We were in the same carriage. It took about a good 15-minute public dressing down. So, poor fella. I think in terms of the match itself, it was a case of never mind the quality, feel the result. I'm quite happy.